Hey guys, welcome to my channel. We're gonna be working in a tight space today, so bear with me. But a friend of ours made me this awesome blanket ladder. I love this, it's so sturdy. I flipped it actually, Let's see if I could show you. See the rounded? <laughs> I actually flipped it. And I'm gonna use the bottom as the top and the top is the bottom. And then I have some thrifted items that I'm also gonna show you how I repurpose them and how I use them with this ladder. So stay tuned guys, you don't wanna miss this one. So first off, what I need to do is get this painted. So let me prepare the area. I'm gonna use Valspar Ultra in white to paint this. So let's get that going so that it can start drying and I can move on to the other projects of how I'm gonna decorate this. So I'm gonna be using Valspar Ultra in pure white to do this. This paint goes on so nice. It gives such great coverage. And I'm hoping that I only have to put two coats on it. I'm probably only gonna put two coats on it because I might distress this also. So yeah, I wasn't thinking about that part. You know, I just gotta distress everything. So let's just give this some nice coverage, let it dry so I can come back and put that second coat on it. My husband always says I paint with a heavy hand. <laughs> I'm trying not to, but it never fails. I, yeah, I have pretty, pretty heavy handed painter, but look how nice this is covering. Okay, so that's just one coat and that covered so well. So it's definitely only gonna need two coats. So while that dries, we're gonna go over to my craft table and I'm gonna show you some items that I'm also gonna to paint to go with this and how I'm gonna transform this. So let's go over to my craft table. So the first item that I'm gonna paint, I got at a local thrift store and it is so heavy. I love the details, love. I love that it has hangers. It was $3.99 and it actually originally came from Kirkland's. So we will just pull that little sticker off if I can. You know how Goodwill is with their stickers, but you know what? It's on the back, thank goodness. So I'm not really gonna worry about it, but is that gorgeous or what? I just don't like the green. So we're gonna just use that same Valspar paint that I used on the ladder. We're gonna give this either, I'm not sure. I guess I'm gonna start and see where we go. Um, give it maybe a whitewash, but then the green will still show. So let's see. Let me give you guys a better view of what I'm doing. And let's just see what happens. Sometimes once you get started, then you kind of know where you're gonna go with it because it all depends on how that paint starts going on. Sometimes I'll think I know what I'm gonna do and then I get started and it goes in a totally different direction. But I'm actually really liking how this is going on. I do want this part to be a little darker.
So on one of my many thrifting adventures, I came across this bushel basket and I absolutely love this basket, but it's really big. So I thought this would go great on that ladder. And I paid $1.25 for it. And of course the sticker is on the outside, so we're gonna need to get this off. And I'm just gonna kind of whitewash this, give it a little hint of white um, so it'll match my decor and it'll match the ladder. to do and I know I'm crazy but I want to attach this to the top of this and I need to do it with wood showing it would probably look better like that but in order to get it on here I'm gonna try to eyeball where that is to the side of the ladder where that is to the side of the ladder and then I can usually pretty much eyeball to get it straight so I'm gonna need three hands <laughs> I have these eyelets I'm thinking maybe I could in for reinforcement but let's just start with a nail I have some small nails and I'm putting this on right now I know I haven't distressed the and I just dropped one I haven't distressed the wood yet because I need to know if this is even going to work before and I'm not going to be able to hammer but let me try to just make a groove in the wood and then try to hammer those on. <clears throat> so I can, <clears throat> I know you can't see it, but I had, I made an indention with the nail. So I'm just going to put that nail. right there it's actually pretty sturdy and I can always go back and paint that white so that you won't see it and then I have one right there all right let's try this see where we are and I can always That is pretty darn close. So what I can do is take 
more nails and just make more indentions in the wood so I can see where would I want this? Probably right here. Because I can't hear. One on that side and one on this side. I don't want this to fall and this is heavy, so. Oh, that is perfect. There's a nail right there. There's a nail right there. And there's a nail right here. And there's a nail right here. This one needs to come out just a little bit. All right, that is not going anywhere. I would love to have another one right there and maybe one right there too. Um, but that is pretty secure. And I'm trying to think of if I have anything, an L bracket right here would be perfect. So let me go see if I have one. Okay, so I don't have any L brackets. That would be ideal. But all I want is just so it will stay in place a little. It, the nails are holding it. I shouldn't say it like that. The nails are holding it perfect. I just want added where it's not going to go anywhere. So I'm going to use popsicle sticks. Yeah, so I'm going to use popsicle sticks. But instead of making an L bracket out of popsicle sticks, I'm just going to use them to get it closer to the ladder with just a little bit of hot glue. Is my hot glue gonna work? Kind of like shims. Okay, this is on the nails and it's so secure. I added a little couple shims to the back and put some hot glue on just to hold it to that. I know that's not I'll probably go back for video purposes that worked. I'll probably go back and put some E6 saws in behind that because this, I think the nails are going to hold it. I'm not going to put anything super heavy anyway, but it really gives it a decorative top to this ladder. So I'm just going to take some sandpaper now and just give it a little distressing. So, the basket that I made earlier, I want it on one of these shelves. So, we're going to put it on that shelf. And the handle actually helps hold that in place, which is really neat. And then you can just decorate the remaining, you could put books on it. You could put this on the bottom and maybe hang a blanket. I wasn't going to use it for a blanket. I can just start using it as the kind of like a mini shelf. And there it is. I love this ladder. I love how unique it is. I love the top piece. It's not something you see all the time and it just fits perfect with my farmhouse decor. 
I absolutely love this ladder. Have I said that? <laughs> but you can decorate it so many ways. You could hang flowers from the top. I have my books that I made in a, a video I made last year. Check that out. That's that home sign I just made. You can put the basket at the bottom. You can fold up blankets and put them on the shelves like I have at the bottom. There's so many different ways you could decorate this. I hope you enjoyed this letter as much as I do. If you did, please consider subscribing to my channel. Give me a thumbs up so I know I'm doing it right and click that bell for future notifications. I love y'all and I hope you have a blessed and wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Bye, y'all.